This is the video for lesson number 17, Rearranging Formulas. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to rearrange formulas solving for a specified variable. You will do this by using the same procedures as solving equations. Before we get into our worksheet today, let's take a look at this example here with the candy bars. So, in this example, I'm asking for you to solve for the Twix. So, I would like you to think about how we're going to get this Twix all by itself. Notice that on the left side of the equal sign, the Twix is hanging out with the Kit Kat and the Snickers. So if we were to get the Twix alone, which one, which candy bar can we remove first? The Snickers or the Kit Kat? If you guess the Snickers, you are correct. So I'm going to subtract the Snickers from both sides of this equation. If I subtract it here, I must also subtract it from the Milky Way. And when I do this, my Snickers will go away over here. Now we are left with a Twix times a Kit Kat is equal to, now on the right, we have a Milky Way minus a Snickers. I want you to think about, if we have a Milky Way, can we actually take away a Snickers bar? No, we cannot. They are not like terms. So I'm going to rewrite Milky Way minus Snickers. Okay, so when they're not like terms, we're just going to rewrite them. Now focus back on your Twix. It is connected to the Kit Kat by multiplication. So to undo that, or the inverse operation, is going to be to divide by a Kit Kat. And I must also do it on the right-hand side. Okay. Over here, Kit Kats will go away. And on the right-hand side, notice we have a Milky Way minus a Snickers divided by a Kit Kat. None of these are like terms. So I'm simply going to rewrite Milky Way minus Snickers divided by Kit Kat. And now on the left-hand side, we are just left with the Twix. Sorry, I'm still setting this up here. Divided by Kit Kat. Okay. So what we have done here is we've isolated our Twix. And we are left with Milky Way minus Snickers, all divided by a Kit Kat. So here you have it. This is what a Twix is equal to in this example. So we're going to use this example as our guide today and we'll relate our examples back to this one, okay, um, as we go forward with the ones on your worksheet. Here we go. At the top of your page, we will rearrange formulas solving for a specified variable using the same steps as solving algebraic equations. Please copy that. And let's take a look at example one below. Use the related equation to help solve the equation on the right. So look here on the left. We need to solve for x. Here we go. This one you should be able to do on your own, so if you'd like to pause, you may. Or you can follow along. So 2x equals 16. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. And x is equal to 8. On the right-hand side, we have this formula here. Notice it has only variables in this formula. AX minus B equals C. But we are going to follow the same steps as on the left, and we are going to solve for the letter X right here. Okay. So remember, we're always getting rid of the variables that are least connected to the X. So in this case, should we get rid of the A? or the negative b first. And you can look back over here at your equation on the left to see what we did first over there. Notice we added 6. So in this example on the right, that would be similar to adding b to both sides. I'm left with ax equals, 
Now over here we have C plus B. These are not like terms, so I'm just going to rewrite C plus B, just like we did with the candy bars in the first example. Now I have A and X, and I'm getting X by itself. So to get rid of A, just like we did over here with the number 2, is I am going to divide by A. And I'm going to divide the entire right-hand side by A. So on the left, we have X equals. Now since we can't actually divide by A, A cannot go into C or B, we are going to just rewrite the expression on the right. C plus B all over, so make sure you make one long division bar, A. So here it is, we solved for X. Notice all of our variables that were in the original equation stayed in our final answer because none of them were like terms. Let's take a look at example two. The equation on the left, we are solving for the letter A. Remember, we need to clear the denominator first. So I'm going to multiply by three to undo the divide by three. We have A minus two equals 30. To get A by itself, I'm going to add two to both sides. And A is equal to 32. Let's use this example to help us out with the equation on the right that has some more variables in it to get A alone. So I am going to multiply by four because on the left with this equation, we had multiplied by the denominator three in our first step. Let's clear the denominator. So A minus B equals, now C times four, we can do that, that becomes four C. Remember, we're getting A by itself. So over here, when we had A minus two, we added two to both sides. So if we have A minus B, I am going to add B to both sides to get A alone. A equals, now we have four C plus B. Are these like terms? No, so we are just going to rewrite it. Four C plus B. So A is by itself, so here we have A equals 4C plus B. Let's try another one. Solve for X. So go ahead, solve for X on the left-hand side, or follow along with me. I'm going to add 5X to both sides first. Oops. Okay, you can put up your wall if you'd like. So we have 8x plus 4 equals 6. I'm going to minus 4 from both sides. So 8x equals 6 minus 4 is 2. Divide by 8. x is equal to 2 over 8, or in simplest form, that would be 1 4. Here we go. Let's use this example for the one on the right in which we are also going to solve for x again. Notice all variables. So in this example, just like the related equation on the left, we have two terms that have an x. So I see the ax right here and the negative cx. Remember, it's always our goal to get our variable that we want to solve for together on one side of the equation. So since we have the same signs as over here, and we added 5x first, that would be similar to adding cx on both sides. So I want to get my negative cx with the ax over here. Now pay attention carefully. We have ax plus cx. And in this example, our coefficients are an a and a c. Over here on the left, we were able to add a 3 and a 5 because that gives us 8. Now, a plus c as our coefficients, we're not actually able to add them because they're not like terms. 
So when you can't do something in algebra, you simply just need to rewrite it. So our new coefficient, if we were to add them, would be a plus c. We always say when we're adding our like terms, since these are both terms that have an x, we keep the x. So we're going to show it like this. a plus c would be our coefficient, just like we got 8 over here. That's the connection. And since they were both x's, we keep the like term as an x. Okay? Bring down your plus b equals d. Now that we've got our x terms together, now we need to isolate this x. So over here, we minus 4 from both sides because it was least connected to this x. Over here, I'm going to minus b from both sides. On the left, we have a plus c x equals d minus b. Those are not like terms. Let's rewrite it. We have one more step left. We need to get x alone. Over here, we divided by the coefficient 8. On the right, our coefficient is a plus c. So we are going to divide by a plus c. And we will also do it on the right. So here we have, I'm going to write it down below, x equals, we cannot do any of this because none of this, they're not like terms, I don't really see any connections, so we rewrite it. d minus b all over a plus c. If you'd like, you can keep this in parentheses, you don't have to, but I'll put them there anyways since I wrote it up above. So here we have it, x is all alone. So those are three examples of solving an equation with variables for a specified variable that we need to get alone. Down below, I've given you three more examples for you to try on your own. Example one here is very similar to example one on the front of your worksheet. Number two is very similar to example two on your worksheet. And number three, you guessed it, is similar to example number three. So at this time, I'd like you to pause the video. When you press play, the answers will appear. So try these on your own. Please press pause now. So I'd like to show you example one first, and I want to talk about this one with you after you tried it on your own. This one's a little bit different than the example one, but it is similar, there is a connection. So in this one, we are solving for b. I have it in yellow here. So I wanna get rid of this ax first. Since it is positive, I'm going, I minus the ax from both sides. I was left with negative b equals c minus ax. These were not like terms, I rewrite it. To get negative b, I need to get b alone, so I divided by negative one on both sides, okay? You may rewrite your answer like this when b is alone, or what we're going to look at from now on is if you're dividing by a number in your denominator, that simply means that you're going to do c divided by negative one, and that would become negative c, and you're going to do negative ax divided by negative one, and that would become positive ax. So both of these answers are accepted. Okay, going forward, we will get used to writing our answers more so like this. Please try number two if you haven't already. Press pause, otherwise the answer will appear in just a moment. Here you go, example two. I multiplied both sides by five for my first step. F plus G equals 100. To get G alone, I want to minus F from both sides. G is equal to 100 minus F. Since these are not like terms, I keep my final answer like this. And the last one, example three, please pause if you have not already tried, otherwise the answer will appear in just a moment. Example three, my first step, I minus SX 
from both sides because I noticed that there was another term on the left that also had the x term. Rx minus Sx, these are my coefficients, r and negative s. We can't actually subtract them, so we put them in parentheses, r minus s. This is my coefficient of my x variable. Keep your x, plus h equals negative k. I subtracted h from both sides. I rewrote negative h minus, uh, sorry, negative k minus h, because they're not like terms. Rewrote the left. My last step, I divided by the coefficient r minus s on both sides, and I simply rewrote what I ended up with on the right. I know this one is a tricky one when um, we can't actually do the operation with the coefficients, so we rewrite them. We will be practicing more like these, this example tomorrow. Um, and good job. Please come in with this completed tomorrow. And please write down any questions that you have at the bottom of the worksheet so that we can go over it in the beginning of class tomorrow. Thank you.